Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have something new that's not even out yet. It's the Eoshin EV900. Now I got this from Banggood. They provided this and this is a pre-production model at the current moment of time. They're sending it for review just to see uh, the reviewers if they have any opinions on what needs to be changed and all that kind of crazy good stuff however i'm not going to be able to really test it in the field i've only been flying it indoors and it's it's good so far we'll get into that later in a different video however just a couple things what we're going to do today i'm just going to be discussing what we're going to do we're, we're going to rip this guy apart and do a tear down and see what's the internals is it a diversity antenna uh and seeing what else we could see inside now i know this is powered by a 3.7 volt uh possibly lithium ion i don't know we're going to check it out right now it's rocking a 1080p display it's a five inch display and what we have is you know it's kind of the same issue with the sky zone a little bit this is um it, it's really hitting the nose so this is i don't think it's it's yeah they need to you know issue if you're watching this right now you need to make this gap bigger a lot bigger actually well not a lot bigger it's not as bad as the sky zone but it's 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 there uh it'll keep the thing the uh, screen away from you and you get light leakage this is pretty comfortable but this you don't even get to feel this because your nose is pushing the whole thing away from your face but overall the quality was superb and uh let's start taking it apart all right, so so we're gonna leave the overall review for a later video when I've actually put some time into it. But right now we're just gonna do a little tear down. It's nice to see the internals of what you're getting ahead of time, so we know if maybe there's a possible sick mod we could possibly do and all that kind of crazy good stuff. So it seems like it's just a couple screws here that we need to get rid of, and I'm using I think the wrong screwdriver. I don't want to strip these uh screws here, but it's alright. We'll just try to handle it. Yeah, this one's not magnetic, so I don't want to lose any of the screws here. There we go. We have two screws that are still inside, or one, I think, just one. All right, so the moment of not truth just yet. Let's see what we're missing here. I think it should just pop off. Yeah, there we go. I think this plate pops up. Yeah, it does. So we have to remove this face plate first somehow. Hopefully there's no screws under there because yeah, this is a uh, the face plate here is um, the pad is just stuck with double sided tape. It's not Velcro as I believe. Yeah, it's not Velcro. It's just double sided tape. Yeah, we have screws here. So there's a screw right there. There's two screws right there. So we're gonna have to remove that before we move ahead. So we got two more screws. Good thing I noticed or I would have just broken it already. All right. So we got that out of the way. So all the screws are the same length and everything. So now we just have to be a little cautious of how we remove everything here. Let's remove this one. Okay. All right. So this just comes right off. Okay, does this come right off? So it seems like they're using a lithium polymer battery here. I'm trying to be a little careful removing this part. There we go. All right, so, so it's using a 3.7 volt, so it's a 1S LiPo, but it's not really seeing how, what's its uh, milliampage here. And it just pops right off. Does there, It feels like there's tape holding it in place. Yeah, there was. Okay, does this have a connector? Awesome, it does. So we could just remove the connector here and we're good to go. So what we're gonna have to do here now, let's just take a look. And now let's just go ahead and we have one screw, two screw, three, four, five. So we have five screws to remove. So let's just go ahead and remove this. I'll skip over this. All right, so it's basically almost removed here. And uh, this is what's connecting the HDMI. There we go, it's one of those. It's not the slide in, slide out kind of thing. So let's just remove this. So the, the LCD is in here and it's slanted. Um, or is it? Okay, no, so this is the LCD, it's up here right now. And the LCD is being mirrored from a mirror all the way in the back to give you the view here. So that's pretty pretty interesting, actually. So yeah, this this is the screen right here. It's a uh, five inch 1080p screen, which is pretty awesome. So let's move this to the side now. 
So this is, you, you know, you're not going to be getting light leakage from anywhere anytime soon in here. Let's take a look at the board. So let's take a look here. So let's flip this guy over. What do we have? We have a fan. I heard the fan go on when I first plugged it in. Here's possibly our microcontroller unit uh, that's handling the diversity between the two receivers. And it's a real diversity. And it seems like it's, um, what is it? Uh, the RX 5808 and it's shielded so that's very good but there's really no need for shielding unless the the this board this this board right here is going to be the uh, what is it called the um, the video encoder for the HDMI screen so the analog signal would come from these into this guy and um, obviously there's first of all you're gonna have a switch between these two and based on the RSSI this microcontroller unit based on the RSSI, is triggering a two-channel video switch. So it says, oh, this RSSI is larger. So it'll connect this one to the pin that's going, or the wire, or the trace that's going to the video encoder here, and thus giving you the picture right there. So that's where it's switching. So this will be controlling this overall system, and uh, these will decide which receiver will have its video signal put into the screen. Here's our battery input. So if you wanted to use a bigger battery, you can go ahead and route or like open a hole to an external battery. That's just a big ass 1S LiPo. You'll probably be totally fine there. So that's right there. And um, it looks pretty clean. I don't know if this was my fingerprints, but overall it looks nice. It's very simple, very compact. I was expecting to see a lot more in here. Uh, the Eoshin EV100 has more going on in it than this, really. But this is, it's going to be, we got a couple tantalum capacitors. We have our little fan right here. It's a very nice little fan. Uh, I could use this for a lot of things. And we have a mini HDMI port right there. So this is for the in. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, what else do we have? We have a little heat sink. That's very nice. They put a little heat sink on the microcontroller unit here. Um, should we remove it? No, let's just leave it. What else do we have here? So this is pretty cool, actually. I really like this. To be honest, I wasn't really expecting it's going to be diversity, but it is diversity. What's what do we have here? Okay, this is the control unit. So this is going to probably add, add some more coolant. So you could even well, there's no room, but here they made this so it'll kind of keep it kind of cool in a wayish maybe. And there's a big cutout here for this guy. What else do we have here? This is for the fan right there. This is probably for the audio. And overall, I mean, it is a true diversity it's it's the diversity receiver here goggle so it seems nice i mean that's all i could really say uh the soldering looks okay it's not bad i've seen a lot worse the components look pretty much well aligned obviously it worked when i first got it and um overall it looks like a nice little board i mean i i cannot i will not give my final verdict just yet um we will be doing mods especially that nose thing that nose thing is um uh, it's, it's i'll do that mod before i actually take it out but it's 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 really gonna bother you uh that nose thing so yashin if you're watching please fix the molding to where the nose is recessed in more so it could fit a lot of people's faces um, but yeah, that's the same issue as the Sky Zone. But Sky Zone said they're gonna fix it with a V2 or something. So uh, hopefully before these go into production, they do fix that. Overall, the board looks clean, and don't forget this is, and don't forget this is a pre-production model, so a lot of things can change. But we know it's a dual diversity. It looks like the RX 5808 uh, receivers here, which are the good ones, which everybody uses. Uh, from uh, what is it, the True D diversity, uh, the RX 5808. They're all using basically the same thing. They come from the same manufacturer. And it's just the person's software that does the diversity part, really. That's all it is. Um, but overall, it's nice. I mean, it doesn't need a mod. I mean, we can do a Fast Shark mod if you guys want that. It should be pretty simple. And um, it, it could actually be turned into a Triversity mod. So basically, we pop one off and the, the Fast Shark diversity will work with this one. And it'll calculate both RSSIs, and then uh, based upon that, it'll switch between the diversity itself and uh, the inbuilt one. So even if you didn't have Fat Shark module on, you'll still be running on one receiver here. Or we could figure out other ways. I'll take a look into it, but let me go know down in the comment section if you guys are interested. In now we could do some sick mods of this. It has a lot of space. Um, we could 3D print everything. I got my 3D printer finally working, perfect, finally tuned, and uh, overall should be pretty sweet and pretty insane.
And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the review will be upcoming soon. I'm going to put this bad boy together now. Please consider joining my mission, joining my Patreon. Help me support this channel and support me and to document everything I possibly can. You could also use the affiliate links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.